So we're going to go over a 100R1 style hose, um, some samples that have come in here through the, uh, the shop here. And I've been saving up, up for you guys. Uh, this stuff, uh, if you guys work in a, in a hose room, uh, tub of towels is like crack. You, it gets rid of all the dirt. It's great stuff. And uh, you go through them. It's uh, not the cheapest stuff, though. Um, but, so we've gotten some samples in here, and I thought I'd just uh, run a couple pass to give you some uh, kind of experience on, on recognizing these. Um, this hose came in here. It says, uh, it says Kive, which I'm sure says no skive. Um, 421-12 WP8, uh, comma 6, which is uh, working pressure uh, MPA, uh, which is 1,250 PSI, MSHA rated. MSHA is Mining Safety uh, Health Association. Um, IC 4010. Um, I'm going to say that uh, this is not air equipped. I'm going to guess that it's the 40th week of 2010 that it was made. Uh, but then it gets to what we really want to find, which is SAE 100R1AT-12. Uh, previous, you, you've already learned, uh, dash 12 is 12 sixteenths. Um, just the, a dash size is, uh, is the number of sixteenths that the hose is. 12 over 16 is uh, uh, reduced down to 3 quarter. So 3 quarter inch ID hose. Um, gives a 19 millimeter on there. Gives a 3 quarter inch. And I do believe I was wrong because uh, it says 4Q98. Uh, anytime you see that, it's the fourth quarter of 1998. So, uh, IC-4010, not quite sure what that is. Uh, but, um, SAE-100R1AT, I know that that is a one-wire hose. I know that uh, the air equip equivalent of this is going to be the 100R1 style hose, which is GH663. If I were to make this up, though, uh, I, I recommended it in... Uh, other course uh, things that we've given here, um, just carry two wire hose, just carry GH781 dash all sizes. Uh, it, it handles all one wire applications. You're not carrying dual stock, you're not carrying uh, dual fittings because in a dash 20 you have to have two different types of fittings. Uh, makes your life so much easier. It's a green ley line hose, um, but if you want to, it, it's a little less expensive. So if you're trying to save, if you're a, a manufacturer and you're building a stump grinder and you know that you only need 3,000 PSI or 1250 or whatever this is rated to, um, by all means, you can save a couple pennies. Uh, and they do add up. So I can understand why manufacturing does that. The other thing, though, that I don't agree with, with manufacturers is that they are putting crud hose on, on their equipment. Uh, it's become almost standard now that they save as much as they can anytime they can, and I think that's wrong. Uh, a quality manufacturer should represent themselves with a quality hose. Uh, AeroQuip's standard uh, triple crown line is good for 260 degrees, where the SAE spec is good for 200 to 212 degrees. Uh, it has a Dura DuraTough cover, so it is more abrasion resistant. It's a Less change-outs mean less loss in hydraulic fluid, less downtime, uh, longevity, um, just eliminates problems. So um, I'm not saying that all manufacturers out there are uh, making things as cheap as they can. There are, uh, there are high-end ones. We are an AeroQuip distributor, so I will only be saying AeroQuip is, uh, is, uh, is one of the top, if not the top, out there. But 100R1 hose, um, this, I'm not sure if I said it, but I don't see a manufacturer on here, so I don't know whose it is. But 100R1 AT is what it says, and it looks like, if the camera will focus on it, uh, so we are looking at right here. So, um, if you can see that, SAE 100R1 AT-12. And just so happens that it has some, if you know what your fittings are, that's a JICN. Actually, it's, it is stamped on the side, though. But, uh, so there's one example that's come in here. You've got uh, this one. This, this one is a Goodyear hose. It's half-inch, 
12.7 millimeter SAE 100R1AT, excuse me, 100R1AT-8, 8 over 16 is half inch, 2000 PSI, working pressure, flame resistant, US M MSHA again, so Mining and Safety Health Association, good for uh, being used in mines. And uh, you can read that right, it says 2G-14C-12. Um, but again, we're, we're looking for the 100R1 AT, or just something that tells us that it is a, a one-wire hose. When you do cut it though, uh, this particular one is cut, so we can show you that it is single braided uh, steel braid there, tube and cover, and then give you Hundred R one AT. That can be replaced with GH six sixty three or my favorite GH seven eighty one. Next we have uh, this came in here and uh, looks like it was chewed up a little bit. Um, abrasion is, is usually what the, the cause of the problem is. They get caught on things. Um, this is Gate four C one T quarter inch SAE one hundred R one AT hose. 2750 PSI max, flame resistant, US MSHA, and um, number 2G11C. So I'm, I'm more familiar with the Aeroquip brand, but uh, identifying the 100R1AT there on the ley line, I will show that that is also a one wire hose. So tube, one wire braid, and cover, and I'm not sure if this is going to show through very well, let's see that, let's see that there. we've got some on, like here it says 100R1AT, so that's a one wire hose. Uh, this is the Airquip brand, I think it's really cool that they put a uh, Single circle for one wire, and if you look at the different, uh, we've got four circles for four wire hose. And let's see if we can get lucky and put a two wire hose easily. There is a two wire hose, two two double circles. So uh, that's, that makes it easy to identify. Actually, the SAE spec is missing off of here. Um, this, this looks like it was crushed in some way, caught on something. Um, it does not look like a blowout. It looks like something came and hit it, uh, which is common. So uh, one, it's, uh, I'll show you an example with this. It's got the one circle on it. And if you look at that, Got the tube. The tube is on the inside. Uh, one single layer of braided steel and one outer braid, which is a thin cover hose. A T thin cover. Uh, next up, we this somebody put a hose guard on this. It's not really used as hose guard normally. Uh, this one identified as. The MPA 3000 PSI MSHA rated IC dash can't read it ISO 1436 which is another uh, standard out there and then it says 180 so it doesn't say 100 SAE 100 R uh, uh, 100 R 180 but it does say the 180 on there that does uh, tell me what it is and it also goes on to say EN 853 slash 1 SN uh, slash 10. I'm not quite sure what the dash 10 could be the millimeters actually. Um, but uh, that is the EN specs which are going to be discussed later. Uh, so, but the SAE spec on this is uh, SAE 100R1 AT hose. Again, to be replaced with either GH663 or um, the uh, GH781 two wire if that's the only thing you want to carry. And I'll show you. This is not cut, but I think we can show you that 180 part right there. Okay. 
and we have very hard to read. And this is actually 100R17 hose, so it shouldn't even be in this pile. We will get rid of that. Next one up, 3 8 inch ID SAE 100R1A. So this is the standard cover instead of the AT, which is thin cover. MSHA rated 2G, 20C, whatever that is. Uh, again, I have no idea who the manufacturer of this one is. If I cut this and looked at it, it would have one wire braid in it. And so, but this does show you the difference between the 100R1A and 100R1AT. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. That's right there. 100R1A. And finally, we have somewhere I saw this. This is an impression ley line instead of being a printed ley line. This one says Semperate Kurt SAE 100R1. And then gives the MSHA rating. Uh, just from my knowledge, this is rated at the uh, lowest SAE of uh, 212 degrees. And um, MSHA rated. 2Q10, so second quarter of 2010, and it says half inch. Um, did I say half inch? Because that's quarter inch hose. It's kind of hard to read. It does say quarter inch. Um, it's kind of hard to read an impression ley line, although I do like it a lot better because it, it's not easily worn off like paint. But uh, I, I actually, I uh, paint has been holding up really well in the uh, in the past, so. Um, I, it is a great, great new way of uh, marking hose. So I think this is uh, at least this gives you an example of a ley line that is an impression ley line. And then let's see if I can at least get you the SA. So it says right here. It says someone else. It says R1S. So it is the new. Um, EN specifications and uh, one wire hose and uh, GH663 uh, again is the equivalent of all of these and of course uh, if you're willing to switch them out to the GH781 just have quarter inch hose slap on fittings good to go don't have to dual, cool, carry dual inventory so that's it for the SAE100R series that we've seen in here